Hey, it's Chris with a mini product review. Um, I've had this thing for a while now, and I, I've um, forgotten to make a video about it. It's the Breville One Touch Tea Maker, and uh, this is has replaced my Trinity. As you can see here, it has a digital control panel, much fancier than the Trinity. You can select from uh, pre sets here for different types of tea or you can customize your own. In this case I'm making a uh, citron green from Adagio. They recommend 180 degrees for three minutes so that's what I set this to. Um, and there's a button over here for tea and there's a button over here for hot water. Um, and what's cool about this it's, uh, it's much more expensive than the Trinity um, in fact, it's ridiculously expensive, and I can't imagine it sells all that well, but it is definitely higher tech and, and better designed all around. Um, Breville makes really awesome uh, appliances, but as you can see, the way it works here is the tea... Oh, this is the cool part, actually. We're going to get to see it. The tea is in a basket on a magnetic slider, so once the water reaches the preset temperature, the the basket holding the tea leaves automatically and somewhat slowly lowers itself into the water and then the machine will uh, then start the countdown and brew it for exactly however long it's supposed to and then it will raise this up back out of the water and sit there and of course I've got it selected to keep warm so it'll keep the uh, the temperature for up to an hour um, unlike the Trinity you can't just leave it on which um, is a good thing and a bad thing I guess it probably it's probably a bad thing to leave your tea just sitting there all day, all day although that is something that I've tended to do in the past so this one this one will only do it for an hour and then it shuts itself off um, and then there's the basket control here you can use sort of to like decide, oh, I want to infuse that some more, or you can actually, if you're making a lot of tea, this also has a much higher capacity, well, I don't know if it's much higher, but um, goes up to 1,500 milliliters. Uh, so, um, that's what, six cups. Um, anyway, it's pretty cool. If you're making a lot of tea, you can turn this basket thing on, and it will actually keep raising and lowering the tea, um, which sort of simulates, you know, swirling it around, although it, that's really a pointless feature. Anyway, the point is, um, the Breville One Touch Tea Maker, I like it very much, and uh, if you are a tea fiend and you drink a lot of tea, um, it's definitely worth it. Uh, absolutely no complaints about the device that I can think of. It's heavy, um, but then, you know, the the uh, base has all the heating stuff in it, so beep. Oh, here we go. I just wanted to catch the exciting action of the of the uh, tea going up. Uh -huh. I mean, they've chosen to make this kind of complicated, fussy mechanism. Um, you know, the Trinity is fairly straightforward. Um, this has moving parts in a sense, but it does work better. Um, and as you can see here, it counts up time since brew, and that will count up to one hour, regardless of whether or not you have the keep warm function on. Um, so you do know how old your tea is up to one hour. And really that's about all there is to say about this nifty device. Breville One Touch Tea Maker. Now I'm going to enjoy my Citron Green.